Hey guys! Today's tutorial is going to be a bit of a throwback video because we're going to learn two hairstyles that Daenerys wore while she was in Karth in Game of Thrones in Season 2. I've been meaning to make this video for a long time. It's been on my list for like a year and a half. And since it's down season for a lot of really interesting fantasy TV and movies, now is a perfect time to do it. So here we go. I started with two French braids last night before bed in order to give myself a wave pattern like Daenerys. In later seasons she has more like wand curls, but in seasons 1 and 2 they're waves like you get from braids. Braid your hair when it's slightly damp and leave for several hours in order to get this texture yourself. And change the number of braids to get larger or smaller waves as you prefer. I'm going to teach you two Karth styles today. And this first one is a soft, barely there braid back with transverse type 4 strand braids. To do it, grab a chunk of hair from the corner of your forehead and split it into 4 strands. Take the forwardmost strand and weave it over the second strand, under the third one, and over the fourth one so that it is now the strand in the back and everything else has shifted up one place. Now take the new forward strand and also weave it over the second, under the third, and over the fourth. Take the new forward strand and do that weaving pattern again. And continue braiding this way until you get to the ends of your hair. Tie the braid with a small elastic for now. Make another transverse four strand braid starting at the other corner of your forehead. I'm calling this a transverse braid but it actually doesn't have an official name, even though it's a different pattern from other kinds of four strand braids. So if you need more instruction on how to do this, it might be hard to Google for it, but if you check out the description box of this video, I've included a link to a pictorial I made a while ago on this technique. Now that you've got these braids done, bring them together at your crown at the upper back of your head. If your hair is on the short side and you can barely get them to meet, just tie them together here with an elastic. But if your hair is longer, you can get the braid loop in the back that Daenerys wears. To do this, poke a finger through the braids at the point where they meet so that you separate each braid in half with two strands on each side of either finger. Holding the braids in this position, pull off the elastics and undo the braiding up to your hands. Now trade two strands from one braid with two strands from the other braid and reform the four strand braids with these new traded strands. That is, you'll now be finishing the four strand braid with two strands that were in this braid originally and two strands that were from the other braid. I'm using an alligator clip to hold the other four strands together and out of the way while I work on the first braid with this set of four strands. When you get to the end of the braid, tie off with an elastic. Then unclip the other strands, make them into a transverse four strand braid, and also tie that one off with an elastic. Now you've got two braids joined at the back of the head. To finish the loop, grab both tails and tie them together just above neck height, or however long the tails are if your hair is shorter than that. Here's how the first style looks when you're all done. This is what Daenerys is wearing when her dragons are first stolen in Karth. If you want to see what she wears when she goes off to get them back, keep watching. To begin the second style, grab a chunk of hair from the corner of your forehead again. This time though, split it into three strands and do a normal three strand braid to the ends. Make an identical three strand braid at the other corner of your forehead. Now merge them at the back of your head by joining together one strand from each braid to create one larger strand. Then hold the other two strands in each braid together so that they also make larger strands and release the braiding below this point. Basically, you're combining six strands into three, so just add three pairs of strands together. Now braid your new large strands together down to the ends. Next, grab a chunk of hair along your side hairline above your ear and braid it to the ends. Make another braid just like this on the other side of your head. Also bring these two braids together at the back of your head and merge them in the same manner as you did before. Make sure however that you're merging them below the other two braids so that they're a distinct second tier and aren't at the same level as the first tier. Finally, grab both tails and tie them together at about neck level, releasing any braiding below this final hair elastic. Once you're done, you now have Daenerys' second Karth braided hairstyle. 
Thanks so much for watching this video. You can check out others like it by visiting my YouTube channel, Sivu Plates. You can also help me produce future videos by supporting me on my Patreon page. Go to patreon.com slash to check out how to do that. Thanks again, and see you later.